I mean, we, uh, DRS was new to all teams last year, and um, uh, there are trades you play on um, on designing rear wings in that you can design rear wings for um, for greater DRS performance and greater drag drop, but um, the sacrifice you pay for that is that you tend to lose ultimate downforce and you play those trades a little bit. Um, early on last year, we, um, we, we went down one particular route. We changed a little bit um, for the second half of the, uh, of, of the year and put a bit more emphasis on the <coughs> DRS um, drag drop. Um, uh, yeah, you can see this, this year's rear, rear wing is, um, is, um, it is a, a totally new rear wing, but it's evolved along similar philosophies to, uh, to last year. So we're learning. We know the importance of, of DRS, but, um, but ultimately you've got to win the race. And whilst DRS counts for qualifying, most in qualifying, then ultimately you have to win the race. And um, producing the best race car is, um, is what we've concentrated on. We proved last year that we we're particularly good in, um, in terms of race pace. And, um, and uh, again, that's our, uh, that's our philosophy and our approach. We've got time for a couple more questions. Ben Edwards first from the BBC. Thanks, David. Just uh, following on from what we've already heard, is there a figure, now that you've done all the calculations on the car and you've, you've built it, on the loss of down, the overall loss of downforce compared to last year, is, is there a figure that all the drivers are going to have to cope with in general terms? I mean, maybe not specifically your loss, but, but in general terms, what they talked about it earlier. What is the loss of downforce compared to last year? Uh, we've set ourselves some ambitious targets and... Um, and you know, we'd expect to recover a lot of, um, of what we lost. You, know, we, you optimise around a, a certain package, and um, as, as Paddy mentioned earlier, we thought we were particularly good at, um, at the, uh, uh, achieving performance from the exhaust system and, um, and blowing the diffuser last year. Um, we, we pay prices for that. You pay a price in terms of the, um, the, the, the base uh, performance of the car. We knew that there, was, there were prices and trades that we were accepting and, um, and ultimately last year it produced the, uh, the quickest car this year. Um, we, we've, we've taken those gains back and, um, and worked harder on them and pushed that, hard, that area harder. So you know, we, we hope to get back a, a lot of what we've lost. Um, I don't want to quote numbers, but, um, but you know, we've set very ambitious targets and, um, and you know, we'd like to think that we go back with, a, with an equally competitive car. One more question. Um, Craig, we've had a few from you. Uh, can we go to Johnny instead? Tim, you talked there about producing a quickest race car, but a lot of the foundation of Vettel's wins last year were on getting pole position, getting three seconds after two laps, yes. and then controlling from the front. Yeah. Have you looked into kind of extracting more from the car on a Saturday? Is there a, a change of philosophy there, or do you still think your approach of having a better car on a Sunday can still triumph? Yeah, um, the there isn't a great deal you can do um, these days. We've got, um, we've got restrictions in terms of programming the, the, the car now. You've got park Fermi regulations, so there's not a lot you can do between qualifying and the race. Um, but one thing we focus on very heavily is, um, is and again have concentrated on with uh, this year, is just the tyre wear life and tyre thermal performance, and, um, and, and that's about the, the race performance. In qualifying, you've got clearly, as we mentioned earlier, you've got DRS that you can play, uh, you can play with. Um, whilst I say we concentrate hard on um, on race performance, it didn't go unnoticed that um, that uh, Sebastian Vettel put the car on pole an awful lot of times and um, and pulled the gap before uh, before DRS was um, was employed. So you know, we're we're aware of it. We've we've attempted to deal with it again. Tim, um, oh, Paddy, something to say yeah. <coughs> I just want to take the opportunity to thank the team that produced the car. I think uh, many, many people uh, who I represent with Tim uh, behind the, the engineering of that car have worked very, very hard all winter. So just to say thanks to them. Uh, and that includes the sort of wider, wider partnerships. Uh, we have some technical partners, ExxonMobil, but you know, even as we said earlier, Vodafone are we count as a technical partner for some of the things we're doing. So, big team of people internally and, and out, outside working on this car. I'm sure they're all watching online around the world as well and hopefully very proud of their uh, efforts. Uh, Tim Goss and Paddy Lowe, thank you so much for joining us on this stage. Thank you. Thanks, Paddy.